what is up youtube welcome back to the channel to the first owner road to glory uh i'm gonna be going over the custom tactics for the 5122 formation um something to help against the five in the back uh if i don't go into too much detail or i don't sound too much too energetic in this video i do apologize um uh, as you guys know gunner my orange cat the one that always pops out in all the videos uh, he passed away, and he passed away like two days ago, and that was like my best friend, so, yeah, I told myself I wasn't going to talk about it, but I have to, you know, that was my best friend, but yeah, um, just go ahead and hit that like and that subscribe button, and we'll continue, uh, we'll keep it going, but yeah, this is this formation, the 5122, um, this is tough. That's okay. All right, uh, five one two two. This is one of the best formations to go up against. Uh, basically, this formation that everybody's playing, the three four two one. So it's to counter this formation or to counter uh, this formation that everybody's going to be using on team of the season. So I posted this one, which is a good way to destroy those formations, and then I posted this one, which is a good. And I'm posting this one now, which is a good way to counter it. So you're like almost like a mirror matchup, but you basically have more people in the midfield that that allows you to control the the game uh sorry guys i'm, I'm trying uh these are the tactics we're gonna go balance 35 55 debt balance balance with 55 players in the box five corners of free kicks one and one um but this is both old gen new gen uh leave the width as is 35 because you kind of want to be compact because you have three center backs and you don't want them to be too spread out because they do spread out a little bit uh, when you are playing in the middle of a game, uh, that you're gonna put 55 to be neutral. Uh, this is gonna be both old gen, new gen, but you could also do auto outside trap, which is 72 if you like the auto outside trap. Uh, it just kind of depends on you, whichever one you want to do. If you want to be more aggressive, then put it at 72. If you want to be more conservative and kind of control the play, it's gonna be 55 because that's what I'm using. Um, if you're on old gen, you might want to just do balance. And let the instructions do the work for you so it doesn't pull your left back and right back too much out of position. Uh, but you could always try direct passing on old gen. If you're on new gen, then you might want to just use direct passing in general. Uh, just because that's the only way you can really attack on new gen, right? So just try either or. I like balance because I like to control my players to see where they go. And I do a lot of L1 triggers. If you don't do a lot of L1 triggers, then do direct passing. Uh, 55 width. Now, when you are in the game, you're still going to turn on the hug the sideline. So you're going to go D-pad tactics, up arrow, and then I think it's the left for hug the sideline. Uh, so your actual left back and right back can be all the way to the wings. So you can spread out your opponent um, base and then have more people in the middle of the box. Does that make sense? So your left back and your right back are going to be all the way to the wings. So it's going to pull out your opponent's uh, basically defenders. They're going to spread them out. And then you have two, two strikers. And you have a three midfield setup, so you're going to basically have more people in the middle of the pitch. So you're going to overload the middle of the pitch, and he's not going to know what to do with it since he's used to playing uh, basically like a 4-2-3-1 or a 4-4-2, something like that, right? So you're basically going to outnumber him in the middle of the park, which is how you're going to score. Uh, instructions, goalie comes across the sweeper keeper. The three center backs, you're going to put stay back while attacking. Uh... I'll go over who to play where because it's very important. So please stick to the end of the video because that's what's going to make it or break it in this formation. Right back, stay back, overlap. Left back, stay back, overlap. I know they're on stay back uh, while attacking, but when you are in the game, you're going to go ahead and turn D-pad ta tactics, and I think it's the right arrow, to make uh, attacking fullbacks go up. So that way you can kind of dictate when you want them to run forward and when you just want them to stay back and defend. So you don't have to really switch out of this formation. Uh, if you don't want to, so I start off with this formation and I start off with the fullbacks not attacking. Uh, and then I go in there and I do turn on attacking fullbacks every now and then. Uh, just to get more width, get more bodies in the box, and kind of confuse the opponent because he doesn't know when you are going to be attacking with them and when you're not. So your actual CDM is going to be on the right. There's a cosmetic issue because if you see both of these say central mid and the right mid, right center mid says defensive mid. So he is more of your CDM. So... When you do play in game, they kind of flip flop. I don't know why they have this like this, but it is what it is. We just got to roll with it. So that the right center mid is going to be your CDM. So you're going to put stay back while attacking cover center. 
uh, your right center mid is going to be your actual right center mid is going to be this one. So you're going to put get forward, get into the box for cross cover center because he's going to he's going to act like a cam. So he's going to be going forward, basically to be in between uh, your two strikers. Then your left center mid is going to be more of your box to box. Uh, so he's going to be balance, balance, cover center. Your right striker is going to be come back on defense, just just so whenever you are attacking. Um, or sorry, when you are defending, he comes back as like a quote-unquote cam, so he can be your outlet player. Uh, just make sure you get like a really skillful player right here, at least a five-star weak foot, five-star skill moves if you can, so you can kind of get out of a press. Uh, because as soon as you get out of a press, you're going to have this guy running back, or just basically just running at your opponent's defense, just ready for the through ball. So uh, you, basically you can build up with this, or you can always do through ball nation with this. Kind of depends on you which way you want to go, but make sure you get a lethal striker as your through ball. Uh, merchant, if that makes sense. Uh, so he's going to be stay central, get in behind, stay forward, right? Uh, so that is how you play. Formation, or, or sorry, the players that you want to use. Make sure you get a really good uh, goalie. Center backs, just good center backs, pacey center backs. Make sure your center center back is like your most agile center back as well because he is going to get the ball a lot and he's going to be he's going to be having to pass the ball. He's like a ball carrier, so think of like a like an actual CDM. Think about like like Rodri for Man City, for example. He kind of plays that role, uh, so he kind of drops deep to like pick up the ball, pass the ball around. So make sure you have like a ball playing center back there, somebody that's really really agile, and then make sure you get pacey center backs on the right back and left back. Uh, wingers, just well rounded box to box wingers. Uh, or left back, right back. You can put whoever you want right there. I've I've tried even playing like Joe Cole, the new hero card. I played Theo Walker. I played Diaby here. It gets the job done. You just kind of need somebody to fill in the blanks right there. Uh, so just make sure you get somebody like that there. Your actual CDM. Try to make sure that he's a, a either a CDM or a a well-rounded defensive player or box to box. So for me, I have Pirlo there because he's fast. He's agile. He can steal the ball. He can create the plays do long through balls everything uh you just want like a basically well-rounded player right there your right center mid just make sure you get a winger there or a number 10 like a jarzinho will be perfect there neymar somebody like that your left center mid is going to be more of your box to box uh next to basically Pirlo, so he's going to be able to attack and defend do through balls skill moves long shots everything so for me sedan mid sedan is perfect there then I have my 5-star, five 5-star five as my comeback on defense striker, which is Johan Cruyff. So I'll try to do the same thing. 5-star, uh, five 5-star, five somebody that can kind of hold up the ball, that can dribble around, you know, stuff like that. And then you have your getting behind striker, which should be your most lethal striker or your most fast striker. For me, it's Stoikov because he's my most lethal striker. It could be Alouera and Mbappe, anybody you want right here. Um, but, yeah. So those are my custom tactics for the 5122 I will post later on how to actually build up with these I'm just trying to build up the the strength to continue um, sorry for the lack of videos I just I just need to spend time with my family you know and at the other cat because the other cat's missing missing gunner a lot right now and it's uh it's tough it's tough it's really tough but if you guys did make it to the end of this video and you guys did care for Gunner because he was the, the mascot of the channel. Just put RIP in the comments section. Thank you, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Uh, peace and take care of your pets. Take care of your loved ones because you never know when's the last day. Like, it just... One day you can be with them and you can be happy and then the next day that's it. They're gone, you know? So just... If you love somebody, tell them you love them and, you know... There's no such thing as being scared of telling somebody that you love them, you know? Just just do it. I promise you'll regret it if you don't do it. Alright, guys. See you guys on the next one. Peace.